Good morning, my dear students. First of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Parvati Guru. Currently, I am having my teaching professions. Particularly, my subject is math. Recently, with a joint effort, I am here to teach you math subject as a whole. Today, I would like to go through the unit one of class two, and that is geometry. Okay, under this geometry. We will learn about the different topic. First one is a point. Point means you can say in Nepali, toplo. After that, lines. Okay, lines means a dharko in Nepali. Okay. After that, we will learn about the different plane figure and solid figure too. Okay. But the first topic I am going to introduce uh, in front of you all is a point. Point. What is point? Or what does a point means? Point वाले को क्या होता? Okay, now here is some definition. Okay, a point is a dot. What a point is a dot. Point बोले के थोपलाओ, डॉटो. Okay, it is denoted by this. Okay, ये लाइक कौन से डिनोट करें चला, कौन से रिप्रेजेंट करें चला. यहाँ मैं ये बना तो सो. Okay, this is the representation of a point. Okay, here I have given one example. That is, here is a point that I have made. And I have given name to this point. And the name that I have given to this point is A. So the name of the point that is A, two point will name change. Give us some A. So so I have written here this is a point A, like this. Okay. Now second topic is line. Okay. Second topic is line. What does a line means? Okay. Here we go. A line is a collection of a points. Line means you have points. How do you get collection? Oh. पोइंट्स आरु जम्मा वायर कलेक्ट वायर नहीं आम रुकी बन सकता लाइन बन सकता इट इस अ कलेक्शन ऑफ पोइंट्स एंड व्हेन पोइंट्स आर कलेक्टेड जब अ पोइंट्स कलेक्ट हुन्छ जम्मा हुन्छ तेरे दिखे रहा लाइन बन सकता जून लाइन से आम लेकिन कौन सा किंचा एक्सटेंस इनफाइनिटली इन बोथ डिरेक्शन एक्सटेंस मींस just go on to the other side of the other side of the other side of the other side of the other side and in both directions okay it is not extended in only one direction you have the direction of the other you have the direction of the other side of the other side of the other side of the other side look here this is the figure of line and by this figure you will become more clear okay in this figure I have made arrow in a both direction and this arrow represents that we can extend Infinitely this line in a both direction. Dubai tira, Dubai direction tira cha am lea like jakti pani tan ka una shakyo. So this is a line. After that, there are two types of line. Line ka pani dui prakar chan. So they are, first one is a straight line. As T R A I G H T. Straight. What is straight? Straight line. Okay. So. How to draw the straight line? By using the scale, you have to make one straight line, okay? So, this is your representation of a straight line. After that, curved line. C U R B E D. Curved and line, okay? So, draw the figure of curved line is this, okay? So, figure of curved line is this. In Nepali, you can say straight line, Siddha Dorko. And in uh, Nepali, you can say the curve line in a Bango Tingo Dorko. So, this is your types of line. Okay, now I'm going to teach you a third topic that is a plane shape. There are different types of plane shape. Okay, and the first shape, first plane shape that I'm going to introduce in front of you all is a triangle. Triangle T R I A N G L E triangle. The figure, the the first figure of um, plane shapes is triangle. Okay, the name of a first plane shape is a triangle. And I have labeled the its parts also. Okay, look here. Here I made the point where these two lines meet. Where these two lines meet. So. This point where these two lines meet is called the corner. Like even a corner. C O R N E R corner. Okay. So look here. This one is a point where these two lines are going to meet, and there are the other point. There are other places. There are other corners also where the two two line segments are made like this. 
here is also a point okay so where these two line segments are meet here is also one corner where these two line segments are made so altogether this triangle has three corners okay likewise uh, i have labeled this part as a side okay ela mali ke naam deko chu side s i d e side okay look here altogether you can see this types of figure in three three lines in this figure there are all together three lines 1 2 3 so all together this triangle has three sides okay and i have give a short uh, description about the triangle it is a triangle it has three sides it has three corners okay three sides means this 1 2 3 after that corner means 1 2 Three. All together, there are three corners. So let's go ahead towards the rectangle or second plane shapes. R E C T A N G L E rectangle. And I have labeled its parts also as I have done in the triangle. Okay. So look here. You can see here. I have kept here arrow. I have made here mark the arrow is ended, which is called a corner. Why I have called it as a corner? Because this is the place where these two line segments meet. Okay, so it is called the corner. Likewise, here is a line. Okay, which is called the side of a rectangle. Okay, there are all together four lines, four sides. Okay, one, two, three, four sides, and corners one, two, three, four, four corners. And the extra things about the extra thing about the rectangle that I am going to say you. Okay, bear listen very. That is, these two opposite lines are equal to or each other. Okay, you do two. One or two, but here opposite ma possible, opposite place ma possible. So you do the lines that you unsa equal unsa. Like that, these two lines are equal to each other. And so the description about the rectangle is: it is a rectangle. It has four sides. It has four corners. Okay. Now I would like to introduce the. Third plane shapes and its name is square. S Q U A R E square. And here are its parts that I've labeled in this figure. This is the plane. This is the point. Okay, where these two lines are made. Okay, so this is called the corner. Okay, this is called the corner. And this line which I have labeled. By the arrow is ended. It's called the side, and this is the side of a square. And listen carefully, okay? In case of square, it is also it seems like it is similar to rectangle, isn't it? It is also a square. It is it has a four side. It has a four corners. But there is some difference between the square and the rectangle, and that is what. In case of square, it's all sides are equal. Square for case ma ki unsa sab pe sides equal unsa. But in case of rectangle, it's opposite sides are equal. It's opposite sides are equal. Okay, it's all sides are not equal. So in case of square, it's all sides are equal. So it is a square. It has four sides. It has four corners. Okay. So now this one is your last plane shapes. Which is called the circle. Okay, the name of this plane shape is circle. C I R C L E circle. Okay, it is a circle. It has no sides. It has no sides. You can't see your line. Okay, so it has no sides and it has no corners. Here, no any lines meet at a point. So that's why this circle has no corners. Okay. This is the homework for you. Okay, related to this uh, geometry chapter. Okay, first question is like this: How many sides does rectangle have? Rectangle, some of the other sides, some of them. As I have explained to you before, I retain these questions, isn't it? I have taught you about the rectangle and how does, how many sides does it have, or how many corners does it have, isn't it? So you have to write your answer and the. Answer of this question is rectangle has four sides. So you have to write in this way. Likewise, the second number, how many corners does triangle have? Okay, as I've taught you about the triangle also that it has a three corners, three sides, isn't it? So you have to write here. So triangle has three 
score. No, so this will be your answer. And this one. Complete the following. You have to complete. Okay, you have to fill in the blanks. Okay, so this is the figure of a square. You have to write it is a square. You have to identify this figure and you have to write it. It is a square. Write the spelling of square. Number of sides. How many sides does the square have? I think you know well. Okay, so you have to write here four sides. After that, number of corners. Four corners. Okay. And let's go to the second figure. It is a figure of a circle. So you have to write here, it is a circle. Number of sides, zero. Because there is no any sides, there is no any lines, line segments, okay? So number of sides is zero. Like the number of corners. There is no any place where the two line segments meet, okay? So that's why number of corners is zero, okay? You have to write it. So this is a homework for you, okay? I hope you will do it at your home. Thank you so much for today.